Greetings, God of Gold here, back again with another video. Now, um, I understand that there's been some errors that, you know, came across with me last time. Uh, I've had a lot of audio-related problems as of late. So, yeah, uh, I hope I can, um, deliver a proper tutorial. So, yeah, um... I apologize for my long, almost two months, possibly two by now, absence. So, today I'll be showing you how to use Photoshop. Well, not just how to use Photoshop, but also how to use, you know, how to mod Hoi 4 in terms of GFX. Like, say, if you want to make a new icon. Well,. You can do that with Photoshop, for those of you who don't know. For those of you who know, turn off people who want, so, yes. Yeah, please do that. Anyways, so let's say we want to make a new ideology. And the ideology, uh, I don't know, it could be anything you really want. I have a whole set here in my resource pack. Uh, I'll definitely feature a link in the description below. Um, so yeah, uh, let's say we want to make a template. Well, we already have a template actually, but let's say we want to make a template after, you know, the template and then make the icon. So we can do that. Um, here, right here, as you can see, the gray one in my resource folder under custom ideologies and templates, you have ideology icon template one, and you have it. Uh, in both formats, actually, it's .png and .psd. So click the PSD because if you click PNG, it'll just send the whole image, and we want the layers to be shown. So for the sake of this, I made a separate template to make it easier for those who see it. Um, so all this will definitely be featured in the link down below. I'll feature a download link uh, in the description to my resource pack for modding. And GFX. So yeah, all right, ideology icon template. All you gotta do is click the .psd file of it, and it'll take a minute to load, depending. And yes, uh, I don't know why it does that beeping noise every time I do it. So if anyone can help me figure that out, please let me know. Thank you. Uh, so anyway, let's say all right. We want to make sure that this ideology icon is good. Now, this one I pre-made. It's uh, really nice. So if you want to make something, uh, let's say we want to make this vampiric. Like say if we want a vampire ideology, you could do that. All you gotta do, uh, see where my mouse is. You scroll up towards here, it says image, and then you go to adjustments, color balance. Now the color balance uh, can usually help out. There's certain other features that do different things with colors. But for the sake of this, we'll just do, let's say we want this red. So we can do that. It'll be red. And same with the bottom. We want it red. You can do the same things. Go up here to image, adjustments, color balance, red. Now it looks too cartoony for red. So we'll get to that in a minute. But basically, if you go to group two, uh, and basically just do the same thing. If you want to recolor all these, uh, or except for the background flag or banner, whatever you want to call it, the wavy part, uh, why don't we uh, use brightness and contrast for it? So that this way, it'll look better. Now, here's the other thing. You, could, you have a couple of ways of making this icon work. You could do color balance again and then darken it, which I'm actually going to do. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. This is strictly optional. It's basically, it's based on what you want for the icon. So if you don't want this, uh, you don't have to pay attention to this part. It's just how I do it. But if you do want to see it, go ahead. Now, as you can see... The color is more like deeper red, but we don't want it to be that way. So we go back up here to image adjustments and instead of color balance, brightness and contrast. This gives more character to the uh, to the design. 
So let's say we want to keep these preferences. So let's say we want to use minus zero or negative zero and just, no, negative 100, sorry, and 100. And we just want to have that type of style for all of them. So do the same thing. Go 100, negative 100. And as you see, look at the detail. It's red, but it's a darker, deeper red. Kind of looks, it looks like a Shadow of the Hedgehog um, ideology, if anything. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, so now that that part's done, your next step is, would be to make the icons. Well, you can look them up online. I did myself. I got a bunch of different stuff here. Some meme related, some generic, some famous, some not. It varies depending on where and how it is. So yeah. So let's say uh, if we're going to make it vampiric, we're going to need a bat. So why don't we do this? Uh, here's the bat. It kind of looks cartoony, but it does match the style of this video. So or this icon that we're doing so it helps and you just oh and that's the other thing too you can do this if you click the middle if you do the edges you can turn it as you can clearly saw what I just did there um, now here's the other thing too if you diselect it you can select it again by hitting control T and it'll do that now, if you zoom out, you can clearly see the icon. It's coming along, but there's stuff missing. For example, the bat. He doesn't have a drop shadow, and he doesn't have, like, an overglow. So my advice would be to, let's say you want to add him um, a drop shadow. You can do that. So you can two ways you can access the blending options. You can double-click like you just saw me do, or right click, blending options. Then, after that, you'll see all these options in this little bar right here. Now, a couple things I would like to note is that how I make icons, I use Bevel, Emboss, and Contour. This gives like an overglow to the icon in itself, so that this way, it helps polish it up, um, makes it look little better now I would recommend doing this uh, I'm just gonna set this to default for or well, actually hang on yeah but basically what happens is you uh, you can edit the Bevel and emboss stuff like that um, I would try to, you know, mess around with different settings, yada yada, but you also got to be careful of what setting you use. Um, yeah, so this will be, I think, an inner, no, no, an outer bevel. And if we, oh yeah, that, that tends to happen sometimes, but we want to... We want this uh, Bevel to be, um, yeah, it'll be outer, mainly. And getting rid of the highlight mode, because we don't need that. And yeah, so it basically if you click or unclick, uh, tends to happen. Soften can also do certain edits, but you know. Uh, alright, well, you can do stuff like that, but, you know, it adds depth to it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, drop shadow. That's very important if you want to add depth, so you can do distance, spread, size, and the angle, or direction in this case. And it gives it, like, this background effect, as you can see. It does this. Um, I'm just going to do... Uh, what was it? One little fix-up. And I'll be able to... Continue. 
think. Alright, so once you have the right settings down, and once you decide, okay, so this looks okay for the icon. Now, it's hard, it's kind of hard to see, but there is an upper glow right there. Now, uh, let's say you want to add, I guess, a moon. Well, I have two kinds of moons. You got the regular one right here, and you got this blood moon which I will actually add this one, but if you want to add the other one, it's perfectly fine. Just click it, drag it, resize it, and place it. It's easy as it can be. Same thing. We want to add some detail to it, uh, like uh, emboss, like I previously mentioned. Now, um certain times it could be oh yeah inner bevel can help as well but uh you also have to keep into consideration that uh sometimes sometimes the icon doesn't work the way you want to like you gotta you gotta toggle around with it like you can add depth if you really wanted to it's a lot of ways you can get this working i mean i'm i'm just rambling at this point but that's usually how it would work um and you can also save these as defaults so for the next time say if you're having trouble you can do this as well um i'm gonna do very quickly with the other bat as well and uh yeah, some again, sometimes the icon is too small, it just it's too powerful. It's like you gotta drop it down a little. Uh, you can also edit the size here too, which is also helpful. But um But yeah, so that's how it works. Uh drop shadow, I forgot for the moon. Now, what if you don't want a black drop shadow for this one? What if you want like a red one like it? So you can do that simply by going to the drop shadow tab, clicking here, and say if you want it to be maybe like a darker red, not like a strong red, just something, you know, that helps with the element. Now, um, I would recommend for this one in particular, uh, let's do a distance two. And we'll do like that. And there you have the bat and the blood moon. Now, next part of the icon, you could do vampire teeth, which I happen to have in my resource pack. Um, it's very handy. And, um, oh, I forgot. Put this right up here. This is the bottom bracket or banner, so that this way it adds detail. This is nothing special, it's just, that that's a pointless layer. It's just, it helps you to inform you that, hey, these are supposed to be in between here, if you want to make it pop out at you. Like a 3D thing, but it's 2D. So, alright, Vampire Teeth, same thing. We do Drop Shadow, although this time, let's go back to black. And then... We, uh, let's say we want to adjust it a little. Let's just, let's just point it straight up this time. We don't have to put distance. It's just something that helps fuel the, uh, I guess you could say the fear in this icon. And same thing, Bavel and Boss. Adjust, <coughs> excuse me, adjust your settings a little if you have to. And... Before you know it, you have this. Now you can also uh, go back up here to image. And this is this also is optional, but I'm just doing it for the sake of this. So you can go up here, image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. So 
say if you want a really darker icon for it. So you can do this and you can do it again because it gives you like free reign. You don't, you're not restricted to just one, you know, segment of it. And as you see, there they are. That is your vampiric icon. Uh, if you want to make, use it for an ideology, you can. Um, link is in the description down below. I will definitely feature this in my resource pack. I'm going to go over here, export it. And, well, that was the old one. I'll just replace that with the better one. Um, oh, I completely forgot. If you really wanted to add more detail to this, you can also add this glass of wine. Not a real one, of course. <laughs> It's just this. You can put it here, resize it. Now, you notice that there's gaps. So the gaps are sometimes not good. They're just not the best in terms like of making the icon look that good. So I personally would recommend uh, moving the bat down a little. Uh, you can have it behind the moon as well but i guess for the sake of this i want it behind the moon but i want the glass to be in front of the bat too so it's layer um dominance i guess um so here is the uh well glass of wine now uh gotta find a right spot to put this Sometimes it can be tricky to find a spot, but let's say we'll just put it over here Now you do the same thing like I showed you you could do drop shadow The direction Then distance Which gives it more character of course now Aside from the bevel and stuff you also have this issue where let's say you you want the gaps to go like there's too much white around or gray so you could do inner shadow which will undoubtedly help with the problem uh, let's go back to black for this one uh, don't add noise because it'll um, I don't know if you can see it but basically it gives like a awkward type of feel to it it just doesn't seem right um, alright, so the opacity will be set, and let's enhance certain features. Um, you can center it, you can soften it, uh, make it normal. Oh, you gotta watch out for that too, because that, that tends to happen. Um, but yeah, also the, uh, yeah, the choke, sometimes you gotta drop that. But don't add noise. I usually don't do noise. That's only for like certain other objects. All right, we'll set this to three right here. And there you have it. That's your icon. So this will be featured in the link in the description down below, like I said. Uh, I will export this and replace over my old one which didn't do as good um or I replaced the other one and i'm going to save this uh for you guys so that this way if you guys want to follow the exact example of this you know be my guest follow the video download all right i hope this video has helped uh i hope you are staying safe out there have a good day Got a gold is out.